Okay, this is another Irish shrimp fly. It's the McCormick's shrimp fly. It's uh, a little bit unusual in that it has bucktail uh, fibers in the tail, which are then cloaked by the traditional uh, golden pheasant uh, tail. Um, it's a predominantly claret fly. It's been uh, featured in uh, Trout and Salmon recently by uh, Andrew McGull and originated, um, I think, um, uh, based on the carrot, or I beg your pardon, the Cool Rock Killer, uh, which is a fly by uh, Spike Rolston from Eastie. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run the thread down the shank, uh, down to the uh, bar of the hook, and then I'm going to tie in the first section of the tail, uh, which as I said is claret bucktail. This is a very dark uh, claret. Uh, the tail fibre should be about uh, one and a half times the, uh, the hook shank. And I'm tying them in on two bunches uh, because the tail is made up from uh, bucktail with uh, some flash sandwiches in between. Uh, just take two strands of crystal flash, gold crystal flash. Just lay those in on top. Cut them in. And then fold those back. I don't uh, like much flash in the tail. So four strands is more than sufficient. Just to pull it off. And then just tie in the second bunch of bucktail fibers in the top. What you can do, if you wish, is to roll the thread down to the bend of the hook and uh, force the tail fibers down, um, downwards. That gives a more uh, shrimpy effect. Uh, I'll just show you what that looks like. Difficult to show you in the face. Uh, I'm going to keep it back a bit just about there and just roll that up. so that they can taper the remains towards the, the eye of the hook. Right. At this stage we take the golden pheasant feather. This is, as I said, is dyed carrot. And this particular skin is very fragile. And as you just have to be careful when folding it. But as usual I will fold the fibers back. And then put on about three turns. I should say that uh, unfortunately there's no manual focus on this camera so the autofocus will run in and out as my hands go close to the, the lens. I'll just tie that off. Remove any loose ends.
Right, when you've got the fibers uh, back where you want them, just run the thread back down over the fibers, just tying them in. There's no tag on this fly, and so the fibers won't spl uh, splay just in the same way as they usually do. And when you cut them the way you want them, just tie in some gold oval tinsel. here just to tidy up the loose ends. Now again, as is normal with the Irish shrimp fly, the body of the fly is split in two. Um, two thirds, one third. And that's just about right. And I'll catch in some Claret floss. This is Danville's. Uh, it's uh, double. I'm only using one strand of floss. Sense. And if you take your gold oval tinsel, roll it up, three turns is sufficient. Thank you. 